Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Connect. Today in this video, we are going to integrate two software applications, Shopify and Salesforce. So the use case here is, whenever a new customer is created in Shopify, automatically create contact in Salesforce. Now let us know what these two software applications are all about. So Shopify is an e-commerce platform where you can set up your online store and sell your products. Whereas Salesforce is a CRM platform. The issue here is that Shopify and Salesforce don't have any integration between them. And that is why we are going to use Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an integration software with the help of which you can transfer data from Shopify to Salesforce. The best part here is you don't require any knowledge of coding. So let me show you this on my screen. Okay, so here I am at Google and now I will go to this URL section over here and I'm going to type pabli.com. Okay, so this is the website of Pabli and now I will hover over this product section from here and I'm going to click on connect. Okay, so now I am going to sign into my account. Okay, so now because I've already signed into my account, that is why I am here. You can also sign up for free and create your free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing. You can try out this integration in Pabli Connect absolutely free. So if you want, you can create your account right now and set up your own automation. The link is available in the description box below the video. Okay, so now I will scroll down. And here at connect, I'm going to click on access now. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. And now we are going to create a new workflow by clicking on this button over here. Okay, so now I'm going to give a name to this workflow and I'm going to name it as Shopify integrations. Okay, now I'm going to create it. Okay, so now in choose app first, I am going to choose Shopify here. Okay. Now according to our workflow, new customer created in Shopify will be our trigger event over here. New customer created. This one, new customer. So when you click on trigger event, you might have seen that we have various trigger events available. You can select whichever trigger event you want according to your choice. And if you don't get the trigger event of your choice, you can contact our team at admin at the rate pabli.com and our team will help you. So now you might have a question in your mind that what is this term called trigger? What am I trying to explain? Let me tell you that automation runs on the concept of triggers and actions. It is all about when something happens, do this. For example, when a sale happens, send an email. In our case, when new customer is created will be our trigger event over here. So now when you come down here, you can see a term called webhook URL. Now you again might be confused. Let me tell you that webhook is an essential way to get data from an external software at Pabli's end. So this webhook helps you to build a connection between the trigger software application and Pabli Connect. So after choosing the app and choosing the trigger event, what we do is we copy this webhook URL from here and we go and paste it inside the trigger software application, which is Shopify in our case. So you can read the instructions carefully and you can just follow them. So I am going to copy my webhook URL from here and I'll go to my Shopify account. So this is a dashboard of my Shopify account. And now I'll go to my settings over here. And here you can see notifications. So I'm going to click on notifications. Okay, so now I'll just scroll down. And when I go down here, you can see this term called webhooks. So we are going to create a webhook over here. So I'm going to click on it. Okay, so the event here is according to our workflow, we are creating a new customer. That is why our event will be customer creation. So you can see customer creation is over here. So I'm going to click on it. So our event is going to be customer creation. Format will be JSON URL. So here you have to paste the URL that you got from Pabli Connect. That is this one. So I'll just paste it over here. Webhook API version will be 2020.10 latest. Now I'm going to save the webhook. Okay, we have successfully saved our webhook over here. Now I'll go back to Pabli Connect. And now it is time to capture the webhook response. 
Okay, so now it is waiting for webhook response. That means now whenever a new customer will be created in Shopify, Pabli Connect will capture the information. So now it is time to go and create a new customer in Shopify. So now I'll go to my Shopify account. And here you can see online store. So I'm going to open it in new tab. Okay, so this is our store of Shopify. Now here you can see this icon over here. So I'm going to click on it. And from here, we are going to create account. That means we are going to create a new customer's account. Okay, so first name I am going to put John. Last name, Markle. Mobile number. Okay, email, John Markle at the rate gmail.com. Okay, password, I'll just create a password. Okay, now I'm going to create an account for this new customer. Okay, we have successfully created a new customer by creating a new account in Shopify. So now I'll go back to Pabli Connect. Okay, so you can see Pabli Connect has already captured the response. The customer ID is here, the email is here. If you go down, you can see the created time, updated, first name, last name. Okay, you can see the phone number is also here. If you go down here, you can see the currency. Okay, so now we have successfully finished our first step integration. That is integration of Shopify and Pabli Connect. Now I'm going to save it. Okay. Okay, so now we are going to begin with our second step integration where we are going to integrate Salesforce and Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click on this plus button over here. And now here in action step, I am going to choose Salesforce. Okay. So now according to our workflow, whenever a new customer is created in Shopify, we want to create a contact in Salesforce. That is why creating a contact will be our action event over here. So you can see we have our action event over here, create contact. Now you can see we have various other action events available. You can select whichever action event you want according to your choice. And if you don't get the action event of your choice, you can contact our team at admin at the rate pabli.com and our team will help you. So now I'm going to click on this create contact because this is our action event over here. Okay, now I'm going to connect with Salesforce. Create new or select existing credentials. If you have any existing credential like this, you can directly click on it and you can directly go ahead. But here I am going to show you how to use new credentials option. So here when you click on new credentials, you have to connect with Salesforce. Okay, so now because I've already logged into my Salesforce account here, it is asking us for these permissions. So I'm going to allow it. You don't have to worry about your data. Everything is 100% safe and secure with Pabli Connect. So now I'll scroll down and here you can see we have these empty fields and we have to fill the information that we have got from our webhook response. So we'll just map these details. So last name, I am just going to map the last name. Here it is Markle. First name is John. Salutation, you can select whichever salutation you want. Other street, if you have the address, you can just enter it here. I'm just going to leave it blank here. Mobile phone, we have the contact number, so I'll just map it. Email, of course, we have the email. Okay, title, department, assistant name, lead source. So lead source, you can select, you have the option here, phone inquiry, partner, referral, purchase list, other. I'm just going to let it be web because Shopify is an online store, so I'll let it be web. Description here, you can write a contact description. So I'll write here, Shopify customer. Okay, now I'm going to click on save and send test request. Okay, we have our API response. That means we have successfully finished the integration of Shopify and Salesforce here. I'll just save it once. Okay, so now let's go to Salesforce and see if a new contact is created there or not. So I'll go to Salesforce and here you can see contacts option over here. So I'm going to click on it. So you can see we have successfully created this contact of John Markle over here in Salesforce. So we have successfully finished our integration. So now I'm going to show you this process again with one more example so that you can understand how this integration takes place in real time. So I'll go back to my Shopify store and here I'm going to create a new customer by creating a new account. Okay, so the first name is going to be Sia, last name 
Johnson. Mobile number, I'll put it as okay. Email Sia Johnson at the rate gmail.com. Password create. Okay, so we have successfully created a new account for the new customer. Now we'll go back to Salesforce and we are going to check if we have created a new contact there or not. So I'll go to Salesforce. I'll just refresh this page once. Okay, so you can see we have Sia Johnson over here. So now our integration is successfully working. Now I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to explain you what has happened in our example. I am just going to minimize this here. Okay, so now in our workflow, what we did is first we created a new customer in Shopify and then we created a new contact in Salesforce. So now every time a new customer is created in Shopify, automatically a new contact will be created in Salesforce. So we have successfully finished our integration of Shopify and Salesforce using Pabli Connect. Not just these two software applications, but you can integrate any software application using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, you can contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com and our team will help you. For more, you can also visit our website at www.pabli.com. Thank you.